bird. Bird, what in the heck? What in the heck, bird? Anyway, welcome back to Blackjack. Uh, <laughs> I was just setting up, and Athena decides to fling her papers. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. Uh, it is 10.37 p.m. on uh, the 3rd of June. You'll be seeing this on the 4th of June. And, uh, yeah. Needless to say, um, I've had some recording difficulties. It took forever to figure out what was wrong, but I was getting, like, weird echoing effect. <sighs> Camera, stop doing that. Weird echo effects on the game audio. Not when I would be playing it, but when I would be listening to the playback. Remember I, I said I... Oh. <laughs> Remember, I've said I've learned to always, always, always do a sound test. And it turns out... I was not... Isn't that just the way? Isn't that just the way? Athena, get back up there. Uh, the, um... It turns out OBS added a... An extra audio channel for the um, desktop audio. And um, I don't know why. And also, I don't know why that would somehow change my ability to record. Because I shouldn't be having any audio on the desktop. <laughs> For cracking ice! <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't be having any audio on the desktop because I record directly from the Switch to OBS. Like, I don't have an intervening computer or anything like that. The rock just stays there in midair. Frickin' heck. Bird, why? Bird, why? Okay, I'm just gonna try. Sneak down here and get some frogs. Away from the Lizolfos. Nope. Okay, well, you know what I can do? I say lifting another rock, which was my downfall last time. Oh, hey! Aha! So long, suckers! Ah, Learnings of the Zora, Part 1. The Waters of Zora's Domain, as told by Prince Sidon. Long, long ago, right here in Laneru, incredible transformations, both subtle and drastic in nature, shaped the land. The tall mountains birthed clouds, these clouds cried tears of rain, and this rain filled our deep valleys past the river. In time, this overflowing water became the Zora River, which bred waterfalls that fell and nourished the vast Laneru wetland. Perhaps it was inevitable that my Zora ancestors, who wandered in search of precious water, would finally settle here. The mountain <coughs> of Lanayru <the> <coughs> are blessed with high-quality stone. The structures built from said stone are solid yet refined. Just like the Zora in our domain, our buildings exist in harmony with the waters, a beautiful symbol of our way of life. Go to the edge of the domain, close your eyes, and listen closely. You shall be greeted by the gentle sound of water. This kind, soothing sound is a testament to the happy life the Zora are so grateful to have found here. 
As one born of royals of our blood, my duty is as clear as it is unshakable. I side on swear here and now. I shall protect our home with my very life, that the gentle sound of water may never cease in our beloved domain. Yep. Uh, more and more sludge falling from the sky. Of course it does. Okay, now I am going to do something a little different with with uh, with Sidon's voice. Um, I know how he sounds, but I oh another one. I also know how he sounds when you first talk to him in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I might as well just do the voice. Uh, yeah. Uh, because let's be honest, his accent changes throughout that game. Thinner. She threw the other one off too. Here, you want to sit here? You want to sit here? You're not going to be able to hear anything. Turn this. Learning those of the Zora Part 2, the legend of Ruto, our great ancestor, as told by Prince Zidon. It is written that long ago there was a strong-willed Zora princess who was as meandering as a winding river. This princess, who was dearly loved by her fellow Zora, was as noble as she was innocent. Her name was Ruto. One day, a powerful and wicked man tried to take over Hyrule and brought great ruin to the once peaceful Zora's domain. Our tales speak of fallen Zora soldiers drifting down the river as it sadly reflected a chaotic retreat of the terrified Zora. Princess Ruta bravely fought back her tears as she bore witness to the tragic misery unfolding in the domain. Even amidst her heartbreak, the Zora princess did all she could to help the weak and elderly escape. Next, she swam against the river's current and climbed the mighty waterfall to challenge her foe. The details of this fight have fallen victim to the haze of time few details remain. Still, it is said that she was aided by the princess of Hyrule and the hero of legend, and together they saved Hyrule. So the legend goes. I sighed on Prince of Zora cannot help but ponder these events as I listen to the Zora children play in all their innocence. As Princess Rutos descended, it is my fate to carry the torch of her brave axe into tomorrow and beyond. I shall not fail. Wouldn't all the Zora at this point be Ruto's descendant just simply because of how long it's been? I mean, at this point, she should basically be mitochondrial Eve. Oh. Ah. Drat. Okay. Come go back up. Yeah, see? Link goes back up. I tried to tell this little one to go back up. And she don't need Yeah, the the reason for the accent choice is because when Sidon first speaks to you in Breath of the Wild, he doesn't sound British. He sounds Caribbean. Like a sort of pan Caribbean. <laughs> but then again, that game isn't known for having stellar accents, so uh It is known for many things, but yeah. accents are not one of them. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, God, it's taken the children for a walk. Um, oh, shit, nope. Uh, I'm just trying to try to get up there. Just say I just saw something. Gosh, so many 
stones over here. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go here. <laughs> I know, right, baby bird? Hi. How you doing? I wonder, if you had a human accent, I wonder what it would be. You'd probably sound like mommy. You sound like grampy sometimes, too. I'll answer the phone and she'll go, hello. Oh. <laughs> Grampy's voice isn't that deep. <laughs> And notice what they did, is they changed it so that the entryway is on the ground. Yeah, I ran into Baz. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he gave me... He's gonna give me a Zora Spear, so... There. <laughs> Just like the other weapons, this fell to decay during the upheaval. Still, it's not completely without use. I attack power when it gets... Oh! Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't actually mark it as complete until you complete the, t the until you get the the gift. That's interesting. Ah, I see you there. There we go. Like just kicks it and open. Oh god, it's interesting. Now, Athena, I don't know about opals, but I know there's a fair amount of gray parrots named Ruby. Ah. That'll be interesting to check out. This always looks like it's wheat. And then there's this purple one that doesn't quite stand out as much. Oh. Well. Um. That's new. That was not here when I was here a few years ago. Evil chocolate everywhere. I, I gotta check, right? Hmm. Gosh, look at that one all the way up there. Okay. Okay, and there's another rock over here, and I've gotta check this one too, yeah? Why? It's a whole rupee. Like I said last time, a single rupee can make a difference. Ah, it's another one. Will this also be magic? No, it is not. Okay. Goodness, look at that. I'm almost certain there's some sort of moral lesson here, but... God, you remember that feeling in Breath of the Wild when you walk up to Zora's Domain and it's just, it's glowing and it's incandescent and it's the most beautiful thing you've seen in your life? Look at this place. Oh my god. Mogawak Shrine. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, do I, do I need to get the crystal for that too, or? I'd better not have to fight anything. Oh, Athena, 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 what should we do? Oh, oh no, I just realized. Are those things floating in the water or are in the reservoir or has the reservoir dried up? The power of water, Mogawak Shrine, okay. <laughs> 
Well, we had to do Power of Water last time, didn't we? Hmm. Okay. It's a power source, that's right. Okay. It's a power cell. Um, okay. Athena, no. No biting. No biting. You know better than that. Am I gonna get shocked? I was not doing that. There. Oh god, what? Seriously? No. Magic scepter. Interesting. Okay. Uh, huh. Sorry, Baz. Yeah, I don't know what it's ex exactly trying to do there. Okay, well, I mean, Baz, you have helped me after all. Okay, shouldn't that power on? Okay, I don't understand. Does it power from here then? I I think this might charge up. Thinner. This shirt already has hella holes in it. Athena, I just got these headphones. Okay? So you need to stop. Okay, I can't. 
can't, I can't move this, like, at all? Silencio. Oh, you are being quiet, but no. Halt and see. Halt and see. Staying away from that part of the water. The crispy water. The bird. That's an opal. Okay, so I have a feeling that we did most of that for nothing. In a bird. I'm gonna bring it back here to charge up again. This shirt like has so many holes in it. Oh my gosh. Oh bird. Oh birdie birdie bird birdie bird bird bird. Bird 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 bird. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I have to put this somewhere else, don't I? Oh yes, right here. Frick! Okay, well that wasn't too long once we figured out what to do. Athena! Here. Come here. What? Oh, she's afraid of the microphone. It's okay. It's okay, Athena. Look, it's just a microphone. It's just a microphone. Okay? Ugh, my face is dry. I think I'm gonna shower tonight, though, so I'll give myself a good scrubbing. Yeah? Oh, goodness. I've got eight. I have eight lights of blessings. Light of blessings? Lights of blessing? Uh, lights of blessings sounds hilarious. Uh, I still feel like they really should have gone with Skyland instead of Sky Island. <laughs> okay, we still got the ladder here. That's good. The ladder does not seem to have suffered the same dingy fate. Imagine like a big blop of that goop like right here. <laughs> Hi. And hello everyone. Oh, that's just the light off the reflection of the rock. Goodness, look at this place. Let's go up the sides here, see what's going on, yeah? Enough. God, the music's so desolate. No more crabs over here. Oh, but they still got tree nuts. Oh. Well, that's weird. Wouldn't let us take a picture of the tree nuts, huh? Oh, we still have crabs. Okay. Okay, so they can still live here, at least. <gasps> oh, no! We have a statue! Oh. Ah, a traveler! It's amazing that you made it here through all of the sludge. An enormous amount of that muck fell not too long ago, but you have and I have somehow avoided getting caught in it. Thanks to Lady Yoda. Lady Yona. Okay. Is that, uh, Sidon's, uh, accompaniment? We were able to save those buried in the sludge in the nick of time, however. Oh. Now that gunk is woefully stuck to our domain's precious statue. How are we to rectify this? Oh, 
Oh. Hello. Okay, that is not the statue I was expecting to see. Ooh. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Hylian. Never removed that dreadful sludge from our statue. I've no doubt that Lady Yona would be positively elated. Oh, yeah, this has to be Yona. We we did not see anyone with this character design in Breath of the Wild. Uh -huh. Finley, you still look exactly the same. Never going to hit that growth spurt, are you? How oh, amazing. The sludge that is on the statue is gone. There's so much there, it seems nearly impossible. Oh. It's Linny! Oh, ahem. I mean, hello, Link. It's so incredible how you were able to keep up that sludge cover statue so easily. Mm -hmm. You really are amazing, Li <clears throat> Link. You, um, oh. uh, enough already. I can't stand it. It feels so cold and unnatural to call you that as though we're strangers. I thought it would feel weirder to <laughs> call the hero of the debate in my some silly nickname I gave him as a child, but... Oh. oh, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and call you Linny. Hey, Linny! Ah, oh, yes, that sounds so much better. I call you Linny because you're more than just Link to me. I hope you forgive me for using my old friend card for that. Anyway, thanks for cleaning up that statue, Linny. You really are the best! Oh. Speaking of, Lady Yona and standing in front of that sparkling clean statue. I'm sure she's as grateful as the rest of us. God, sludge. Ugh, I have been shuffling all over because the bits of sludge keep making their way out of my lovely beds. Wait, are you here as a customer, even amid the sludge? Oh, um, <clears throat> we're open, of course, and our beds are perfectly clean. Whoa. Enjoy your sleep as deep as the ocean here at the Seabed Inn. Uh. Hi. Yeah, you know, that just tells me sludge is gonna hit me while I'm asleep, so. Uh, Athena! Athena! Athena, my goodness gracious. Oh, my bird, my bird, my bird. <laughs> Thanks for cleaning up that statue in the square. Make note of your achievement and report it to Lady Yona. Uh, oh, I suppose I should recall Clef's achievement as well. Oh. Yes, please note that I tackled the sludge for the sake of my beloved domain. <sighs> However, please do not mention that I accidentally used up all the sludge for dough sewing. So the shrines just freaking disappeared one day, huh? I was wondering if there would still be a silver sword back here. Athena! Athena bird! Athena bird! Yeah. Oh! Okay. Is anyone gonna sell me stuff? Oh. Huh? My shop? Oh, please accept my apologies. I must ask that you wait a bit longer for us to open. Oh. Stan currently dealing with Riffle's regret over using up all the splash fruits so carelessly. <sighs> <laughs> Can't work too depressed. A customer! Uh. Hey, Grandpa! I know it's been a while, so we have a customer here. Aww. Grandpa Dento! Oh, come on. Sorry about that. The Hammerhead, our workshop that we're so very proud of, is temporarily closed. Aww. As you know, my Grandpa Dento is the best blacksmith around, but since the sled started falling, he's been in quite the foul mood. I think some of it got in his ear holes. <clears throat> Found the sludge. My real problem is the weapons that decayed because of the upheaval. Worse still, the distinguished trade of blacksmithing has utterly changed in this day and age. I have a blade that is ready to shatter to stick a monster heart or fangs, stick it on the end of that is death, the job is done. Yeah. My father's generation saw the state of things today, and they would certainly flood the domain with their tears. It would probably be less close than what you have out there right now. Okay, well. Ah. Traveler! We are in debt for this in your debt for this great deed. I don't remember Numian. The sludge that was marring the turning tide has disappeared completely. Just report to Lady Yona at once. Oop. I would like to share this joyous news, however. 
in the state I feel that if I met with Lady Yona, <laughs> I may dispel the contents of my stomach upon her noble self. <gasps> Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of going to talk to her, I'm gonna go upstairs, see what's what. See why they replaced me for statue. <laughs> hey, excuse you. Excuse you, little bird. Sassy, sassy little bird. Okay, I see someone on the steps. Oh, I can't I can scarcely believe that someone was able to make it to the domain through all that nasty sludge. All the more reason that I must work tirelessly to restore our beautiful Zora's oh. domain. I'm working hard to scrub off all the sludge. And also must help clean up the plaza that dreaded sludge fell there as well. Uh, your wife ever <laughs> gonna find a timepiece so she doesn't spend, you know, three weeks fishing again? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice the apocalypse happened. What was her name? Mari or something? Ah, there we go. Bird. Parrot bird. Might as well get one of each. Peace to the world. I should probably just voice her like Zelda, huh? Ooh. Attention, Hylian. Beware of the dreaded sludge, or you will be in grave danger. Thanks to Lady Yona and the others, we've washed much of it away, but we cannot be certain it will not rain down again. Well, I gotta... I didn't actually get a picture of the spear when... Oh, here's a good shot. Huh. It's weird. It's not picking up the moth. Oh. Huh? Have you suffered damage from the sludge, my friend? Are your gills well? I'm in the midst of a battle, so I cannot accompany you. But please pay visit to the infirmary if need be. Mm. This moth is my weapon. I must resume the fight. And me against this dreaded muck. In other words, I must keep this place clean. Otherwise, it will hinder our ability to bring in more patients. Uh, upon closer inspection, it's you. A Hylian, without a guilt to your name. Oh, I got some gill. Cloud traded me some. <laughs> I'm so I've been nothing but a burden ever since I touched the sludge. What? This sludge makes me feel so gross. <laughs> the kids don't have anywhere to sleep now. Oh. Uh, uh, if only that sludge would stop falling. Hmm. I've been feeling much better than before. It's all thanks to Lady Yona. Where did the, the plaque back here go to? Yeah. Athena, what I'm really hoping is that you get... Okay, I talked to her oh. already. Okay, this is... Oh yes, I already talked to her oh. too. must have been difficult. Were you not daunted by the sludge outside? The sludge was the least of my problems. We are not presently ga graced with King Dorothon's presence, th so we're making use of the throne room. The sludge cannot fall in here. It is safe. Ah. Hurry along. Take shelter beneath the safety of this room for a while. <laughs> Could go out, all right? I want to see them wash through the sludge. Oh. No. 
Oh yeah, here she is. She's not gonna be leaving for multiple weeks at a time to lose track of time while fishing now. We have to stay here until Lady Yona says it's safe to leave. It's true, brother. The sludge, it's dangerous. Square. That's when it happened. The sludge started falling from the sky. It came out of nowhere. Lady Yona quickly took my hand and brought me here so I'd be safe beneath the roof. I wonder if she went back to the square after that. Oh. The sludge. The ghastly sludge. Mm. My friend Toto was buried and stuff. Thankfully she was rescued. She's covered in that muck even still. Look of suffering on her face when they carried her to the infirmary. I fear we will all end up like that. Oh. Oh, my sweet prince, if only I could have spoken with you, Zora to Zora, just once before the final curtain. Okay, I have a feeling the plot is not going to let us continue until we talk to her. Uh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now, but we've used up all the splash fruit. There are more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. Huh? You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I am grateful that everyone is all right. Now, if only we could do something about that statue. <gasps> you there, a young traveler. I'm sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Source domain is in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. No. <clears throat> Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this precious statue remains covered in sludge. Um. We were just discussing how to, how we need to wash away the sludge. Regardless, I... Oh, wait. Wh what is this? Whoa. The sludge. Hmm. Athena. I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> the statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. That's right! Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. Whoa. It's simply wonderful, is it not? I would love to meet him someday. So you have a similar stature to this Hylian hero. Similar eyes as well. And you're also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, wait, wait. Could, 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 it, could, could, could it be? Are you Link, the swordsman of legend? Oh. Um, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh. oh, um, please accept my apology. Yes. Yes. Please pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I am quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I've had mention of you nearly every day since I arrived at this domain. <sighs> I am Prince Sidon's... Uh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. <laughs> I have heard that you are missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? <sighs> to think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle. And now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. Mm. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain? Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. <laughs> if you don't mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delighted to see you. Let's see how much time we've been recording. Oh, only less than... 40 minutes. Okay, we can meet Sidon. Scoot over here. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court, located at the peak of Ploymus Mountain. 
I hope that's where they move the statue. It's Lady Yona at this time. I fear I must be going now. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Ah, but if it pleases you. After you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I am determined to be of assistance to you as best I can, Sir Link. Sorry we didn't tell you about the engagement. Um, it was a bit hush-hush. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Excuse me? <laughs> Yona's profile has been added. A royal Zora from another domain. Known for her kindness, she was Sidon's childhood friend and is now his fiance. She began assisting the residents of Zora's domain <sighs> in their efforts to combat the sludge as soon as she arrived. A match for Sidon's selfless compassion, she dedicates herself to helping the citizens of the domain. I love that she's green. <laughs> I don't remember any green, like, like, not, you know, there's like this dark green, but she's very light green. And it really makes her stand out, you know? Oh, I thought I had this. Time is of the essence. Ooh. The cliffs at the shore of Toto Lake crumbled in the upheaval. Miraculously, an ancient ruin appeared. Mm -hmm. The place of Prince Sidon asked the Zora historian Giotto to investigate. However, he's far too interested in satisfying his curiosity for these ruins and simply will not provide us with a report. Mm -hmm. I understand the historians believe this is a labor of passion, but sometimes that perspective is downright impractical. Uh, never mind, my apologies. There's no point in troubling you. Yeah. Chatter really is a problem. Yeah, you know what else is a problem? I remember when you were sticking yourself with shock arrows because you thought <laughs> it would make you help. It would help in the fight against uh, in the, the fight against when uh, Veruta went rogue. Uh. Yeah, you just uh, kind of managed to give yourself a bit of a lightly um, beer breaded smell there, huh? I was going to say fried, but. <laughs> Hi, Athena. You really are a lovely parrot. One of these days, one of these days, one of these random, oh shit, random rocks is going to have a car rock under it. Oh yeah, see, look, we just, oh fuck, okay, fine. I was going to say, yeah, look, we've got nothing but sunny days ahead. Then I remembered, one, this game really likes to have rain when it's supposed to be sunny out. Kind of like Portland. <laughs> and, uh, two, these cliffs are a lot taller than I thought they would be. I should probably go back to the domain and start cooking up a storm, but you know what? Oh, hey! Reading material! Learnings of the Zora, Part 6. The story of Nipa Court. The conclusion is told by Prince Sidon. The first half of his tale can be found on another stone monument. If it is not too much trouble, I advise reading that first. I now present a conclusion. When posed with the task of naming the storied location, I, Prince Sidon, fell still. After a time, I timidly proposed the one and only name that came to mind for this place of newfound peace. 
I suggest that we name it after my beloved sister who had long been lost to us, me for court. I worried they would think I was unfairly favouring my own family's legacy by naming it after my kin. A hush fell over the group. After a time, one of the stonemasons raised his voice in agreement. All voices joined his one after another. The idea was embraced wholly, and the craftsmen all returned to their work. But the work was grueling. From then on, until the completion of Mipha Court, the air was filled with laughter and singing. This incident drove home to my very core how much everyone loved my sister. I hope one day to inspire such admiration. If there is ever to be a side on court, I must work tirelessly to earn that honor. I realize that my accents are not the best. But... least not the most consistent. <laughs> also, I found out Netbug may be getting this game for her birthday, which was today, so uh, go wish. Or uh, she may be getting Breath of the Wild for her birthday, which was today. In her time zone, it's already the fourth. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh heck. Look at this. Look at this shoulder. Look what this bird has done. Gonna switch hands there. Okay. Mm. This is what having a parrot will do. And yes, it had holes. Yes, they were from Athena. It did not have half this many when we started 47 minutes ago. I say right as the it hits 47 minutes. Oh, hello. Look at her. I'll, uh... <laughs> Something I want to eventually do is I want to have a theater cam. I think that would be quite popular. I want to do maybe a live stream that's just Athena or just Sonic or just whatever future bird. Oh god. Uh, Oh god. Oh god. Huh. Wow. I didn't lose near as much as I thought I was going to. I, the, 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 this I swear this looks like a ledge you're supposed to be able to stand on. This, this has to be a ledge you can stand on, hence my risk of... There we go. Oh, my, my, my. Do I have to climb those? Those very goopy ladders. Looks like I'm trying to get to Corrin's Tower or something. My gosh. Um, okay. Oh, more of those dragon birds. I still can't believe they're called Aracudas. That's, that's, you know, that's a Pokemon. Evolves from. Okay. Which one is which? Which one is Aracuda and which one is Barasquita? I don't remember. Ah, you know, there's over a thousand of the little bastards now. <laughs> the 
You'll be forgiven if even an old Pokemon pro like me can't be all of these things. Be here. Your items are not lost. Take heart. You are able to retrieve them now. Ah, I can go the other way and get them. Looks like there's a little... Maybe I can try right here. Gooey, gooey, gross. A shiny thing over here. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Looks like they were building a road. Oh, hello. Wow. Ah, hello there. Of all people, it's the one and only Link. Welcome is what I'd like to say. The thing is, we're conducting an investigation of the ruins here. Oh. If you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mifa Court. That's on the peak of Plamis Mountain. Oh, hello. Huck. Oh, hello over here. Thing where I have to find missing pieces. Mm. I am exhausted. To think I would be so foolish as to lose my precious tool for investigating ruins when I was water climbing. It's caused me endless trouble. Oh. I must rest a bit before continuing the investigation. Wait, is, it, is it like over here or? I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see anything, but... That is the worst chocolate fountain. I would just slap anyone who tried to serve me. It's over by the waterfall over here. Where is the what? Oh shit! The waterfall over here is like this. So yeah, we're we're, uh, we're gonna wait till we have another ability or something. Cause yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with going all the way down and then all the way back up. Okay. Okay. I am glad that we are on the same page. Sometimes you just have to look at your life and say, what am I going to do this evening? Plus, I mean, you know what it is they say. The ancient words of wisdom passed down from TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay, how many of you knew what I was going to say <laughs> before I said it? <laughs> I just, I, 
I, I just want a, a show of hands. Uh, you know, it's it's funny. I get like really uh, strange views on this playthrough so far. Like, I think one of episode has like twenty six views, and one has like one view, and the rest all have like five or six. And you know, five or six is good; it's consistent. But I don't understand the rest of those. Oh god, there's more over here. Okay, um, nope. Oh, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, yeah, no, no, uh huh, yeah, no, yeah, uh huh, no. Uh, so, so you know, um, when I, like, talk online, like, I know people say that, you know, if you're a performer and all that, you have, like, a, a public persona and all that stuff. I, I feel like I'm pretty much the same person online as I am. I, I just saw something waving in that. Okay, it's just one of you. Um, I have lost track. I, I legit do not know where the frickin' thing went. There we go. Yeah, but anyway, though, like, I, I talk the same way online that I do off. <laughs> Some people say it's charming. Other people say it's obnoxious as fuck. Oh, hello. Little person. Hello. Come to me, my fishy. Oh, May. May, we just saw you. Where are your kids? Yeah. Wow, are you a fellow fishing enthusiast? Uh -huh. uh, no, I guess I'm getting it away. In any case, if you're looking to catch some fish, this is the best spot. That's all thanks to Prince Sidon. He's cleaning the water in Mitha Court, which is up above. You are just wonderful. My dad's going fishing tomorrow. He's probably going to be fishing when this episode goes up. He's going to a place called Hag Lake. Which actually, several people have died at, but he's not going to be swimming. Mifa Court ahead. All right. Mifa Court, Monera Greystone. I remember when there was a Lionel here. So nice to see you, Link. Welcome. You're looking for Prince Sidon. Hi. We find him over there, intently focused on his important work. He's communing with the water or something. It's... I don't understand it. Ooh. I'm certain that if Prince Sidon knew you were here, he'd be overjoyed to see you, Link. Now, Link, please go and see him right away. I'm gonna go talk to someone else. Here. Ooh. Hello, notebook. Made the court's secret report. Riva. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sidon, the water flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Toko Lake and to Dunma is completely covered in sludge. I want to sneak over there. Remember to bring lots of splash, splash food. Why do you need to keep it secret? Where's the statue, though? Surely the statue should be here. Like, 
I think it'd be up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gaddison! Hi! <laughs> Keep it down. The prince requires absent quiet to concentrate on his important work. No. Wait, Link! You came here to see Prince Sidon! Well, since it's you, that should be no problem at all. I'm sure Prince Sidon will be thrilled to see you. Let's see if there's anyone else first. I'm also going to activate the shrine, but I'm not going to go in until next episode. Ikhen Ah Shrine. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the sludge even affects light itself. Okay. Hey, best buddy. Even here, he's still kind of doing the indistinct accent. It's good to see you, my friend. <laughs> Link, it has been far too long. I received word to two and got missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? No! To think that something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. And afterwards, we mysteriously awoke on a sky island. Hmm. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Kingdom Hearts 2002. <laughs> yeah. Ah, my apologies. I've actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the cause of the fl fallen sludge. That is why I've tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this spot at present. <sighs> As I am uniquely qualified to deal with this sludge here. Hmm. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows in Azora's domain. I wasn't before. That is why I have used my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease... The sullied water will flow into our beloved home and there will be much pain and suffering. That's why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link. Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to those floating sky islands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go speak with our historian Giato. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It's quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Giato, continuing his investigation at Toto Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me any time you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Sidon, why didn't you tell me you were engaged? Sidon, look at me. The son of King Dorofan, an enthusiastic sir of the zeal for justice, he selflessly protects the domain with integrity and passion. His older sister, the champion Mipha, fought Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago. Link earned his complete trust when they worked together to save the domain years before. He now considers him his closest companion. I just want some reference to Age of Calamity, that Sidon oh. went back in time and saw his sister. Herman is fussing again. His only daughter, Dunma, is on a solo assignment. I can understand why he'd be worried. But Dunma's over 60 years old. Sure, she has still some manners since her childhood, but she's a first-rate soldier. Um. As a veteran soldier himself, it's simply not fitting for him to get distracted just because he's apart from his daughter. I'll uh, take care of these crabs that are infesting the waterways. Hope you don't mind that I'm getting my icky gross feet. Uh, frog is great. 
escaped my grasp. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. There she is. <laughs> actually tearing up. <laughs> oh. Wow, I was wondering who that might be and it turns out to be none other than Link. Look, do you see how much Ploymus Mountain has changed and now enshrines a glorious statue of Mipha. She looks after the Zora from here just like she always did. <laughs> The reason we can endure this sludge is because of everyone's efforts and also thanks to her kind protection. I can't see anything from down here. <laughs> Tar doesn't not let me climb. Hi, Mifa. Until next time, I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and I was anticipating this game would make me cry. I wasn't expecting it there. <laughs>